Hello, welcome to BioGrade TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Major Cultural Practices of the Kasena Nankana People The Kasena Nankana district is among the nine districts in the Upper East region of North Ghana. The district was divided into different communities that had chiefs and some other traditional leaders known as Tindanas and Tigatus who had a lot of power and authority over their people. This ethnic group can also be found at the Burkina Faso border and they speak the Kasem language. The Kasena, being closely related to the people of Nankani, were brought together to form the Kasena Nankana Administrative District in 1936. The chiefs were the traditional political heads while the Tindana and Tigatus were the custodians of land matters. In Kasena Nankana, individuals were not allowed to own land, instead, the family heads were in charge of the land for the family. The Kasena Nankana people have a number of cultural practices that they hold dear. Among these cultural practices, marriage, agriculture, funeral, inheritance, and their general social coexistence are most important. Weddings are quite eventful among the Kasena Nankana people. Kola nuts, tobacco, and guinea fowls are some of the most common items used as bride prize. These items usually don't go without seven sheep and a cow given to the bride-to-be's family. Grooms who don't present a cow before marriage are obligated to do so after the bride dies. Intended grooms who can't afford the bride price may have their male children pay for them before they pay the dowry for their own wives. Agriculture is an integral part of Kasena Nankana's economy. They mostly grow crops like millet, sorghum, cowpea, bambara, beans, okra, cotton, rice, tomatoes, ground nuts, leafy vegetables, and onions. They also rear livestock such as sheep, goats, pigs, guinea fowls, cattle, fowls, and donkeys. Some of them are fish farmers who particularly specialize in tilapia and mud fish. Despite their small farms and low yields due to poor soils and unreliable rainfall, the Kasena Nankana people take their farming seriously and passionately all the same. Another business activity they engage in is the trading of crafts, foodstuffs, and semi-processed food. They sell these commodities in local markets and outside their region. The Kasena Nankana women mostly engage in small-scale businesses like pito brewing, dawa dawa processing, shea butter extraction, milling or grinding of millet for domestic use, pottery, rice milling, soap making, dress making, and weaving. The region is also fast growing as a tourist center with its various sites and cultural practices captivating tourists. Some of the region's major tourist attractions are the Tono Irrigation Dam and the unique Catholic Cathedral edifices, both in Navrongo, the region's capital. Their festivals and funerals are also greatly admired by tourists. Funerals, like weddings, in Kasena Nankana are a big event, if not even bigger. They are mostly organized after the harvest and particularly during the long dry season. The natives believe that funerals mark the end of the transition from earth to the spirit world. When an older Kasena Nankana native dies, their sons inherit their property. Inheritance is an essential part of the Kasena Nankana people's culture as they practice the patrilineal system of inheritance, daughters are never allowed to own family assets. The peaceful coexistence among the Kasena Nankana people is a major reason neighboring communities admire them. 
despite their various religious beliefs, they have lived together harmoniously. The Kasena Nankana culture remains one of the most celebrated in Ghana for its richness and global recognition. Fortunately, the natives have done well to uphold their well-celebrated ways of life. What have we missed out of these cultural practices? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.